Right, hi all. Um, it's been a while since I've done a YouTube video. Um, the last one I did was about the March hair. I did about three. He's now finished and he's available as print as a print. Um, I've actually done quite a few others as well, um, which I will show you in one second. I'm just going to. Okay, I'm going to show you what I've been up to. Okay, so I have made this one. Um, this is Water um, Lily Kitty. So he's about, um, well, he's inspired by Monet and he's a Turkish fan. And this will be available as a print. I'm still waiting. Uh, for the printer to come back to me with that one. I've also finished the Christmas unicorn which will be a Christmas card. So there you go. So this is the unicorn. You can see. Um, I've also ha um, finished the witch. Um, if you have a look at my website, you can actually see her there. I don't have a the full illustration here, but I do have a quick sketch of what she looks like, which is here. Now, the reason I've got her sketched out like this is because I'm going to try to use a dip pen. Now, I've never used a dip pen before. <laughs> which is quite surprising seeing I've been to art school and I've done college, I've done CNG, the scene guilds and in design and in embroidery as well. But nowhere in all my courses have I learned to use a dip pen. Now my favorite illustrator is Arthur Rackham and he illustrated Peter Pan in Kensington Gardens. He did Wind in the Willows. He did so many. Um, he died in the 1930s, so he was a pretty, uh, um, it was a pretty long time ago. I know the V&A actually carry a few of his, um, actually have a few of his pictures, um, but it seems like most of the pictures are actually in America which is unfortunate because I'd really like to go and see them. Now, I did go and see an exhibition of Arthur Ackham in Dulwich in the 90s, and there, there hasn't been one since, which is really unfortunate because he was a brilliant artist, absolutely brilliant. If you, if, if you look him up, um, another one is Dulac as well. He's brilliant, and Kay Nielsen, brilliant. Okay, right, enough of the art history. I've also bought... A book. Right. Here we go. The Pen and Ink Book by Joss A. Smith. Now, I bought it on the whim because I have got no, I have no books on inking at all, which is a bit surprising because now I'm an illustrator, I've got absolutely no books. So I thought, right, about time I get a book. So, as you can see, is that new? It's still got the, the receipt in. <laughs> um, I got this from Amazon. You probably could get it from Abe. Um, I wonder if you can actually see what I'm looking at. So it's it's got about um, materials and tools, um, ink drawing techniques and the art of drawing. It's really good actually. The illustrations are beautiful. But this was published in the 90s and I, you would probably need to get a, a second hand one because I don't think they've actually got any reprints. So I would definitely have a go at finding it. You can see some of the beautiful illustrations here. This one's beautiful, look at this. Mm. 
bit of life drawing in here as well. A lot of fantasy. I think this um, author was into fantasy. As it was into fantasy. Um, look at that. Look at that. Oh, if you can see. Look at the face on that. Moody. Okay, so I'm working on this book. So there's a few exercises in there and just a bit of going through how to use a dip pen. So the dip pen. I have went into Hobbycraft. I'm not keen on Hobbycraft, but I went in there because, as you know, it's in the nearest art, art shop in Maidstone. The, the, the one that was there has closed down, so I have to use Hobbycraft. So I have got the manuscript drawing and mapping nibs and these are the holders okay now I've taken the nibs out and put them in a the nice case that it comes with this was seven pound and they are doing at the moment ink for two pound a bottle and it's for 150 mils it's called frisk so now, if you go for Winsor Newton, it was 14 mils for three, um, £3.95. So that's the difference. I thought, I'm only trying at the moment, so I'm not going to go mad. Okay, so these are the nibs. They come in a really nice tin. Really lovely tin, actually. I quite like that. Okay, so. You will find in your pack two holders, the red one and the brown one. Now the red one will hold the very fine tips, this is what I can see, and the brown one will hold the bigger tips. Now as you can see, there's a, well you may not be able to see, this one has got a round hole and these ones are kind of like a roundish like shovel end to it. So I'm going to use this one for the brown handle. So I'm just going to put it in. I did have a quick go last night just to see how it would go in. So there you go. It goes in pretty easily. Okay, after reading a little bit about this, because I did have a little read of the book, you only put the nib in to the ink. You don't put you don't immerse the full nib. So let's see. Oh. There you go. There you go. I quite like this. It's a bit scratchy at first. Ooh. Now the paper I'm using is the Pro Marker paper. I've not been using it that much because I found that I did the March Hair on this Pro Marker paper and it's not, I would say it's not that great if you're going to exhibit your work with that paper because it, it doesn't look professional when it's framed. So I will only use the Pro Marker paper just for scan, scanning um, illustrations, the ones that I'm not really going to actually exhibit and for playing about with um, I'm going to use keep continue to use the watercolour paper and the mixed media paper for my other bits and pieces that I do so that's, this is why I'm using the Prime Marker paper ok so now as I'm new to this please if I'm doing it wrong put it in the feedback below Also been told that doing it this way as well is quite interesting. Upside down. 
And also, by going very lightly, and then very... Ooh! So I'll get that. So going lightly, and then with a lot more pressure. You don't need a lot of pressure. So it's just playing with the line. So I'm going thick, thin, thick, thin. I can see with the dip pen that it will give me a lot more scope to play about with. Um, I think it's going to just take me a while to get used to it. And it's, it's kind of really nice to think that I'm actually doing um, the having a go at the techniques that Arthur Rackham would have actually used in his drawings because this is how he would have drawn. Just going to try a bit of oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> I do know how to spell. Okay, so I definitely recommend you have a go at this <laughs> because. Right, I'm going to actually have another, I'm going to have a go now. So this is really just a quick go at having a play with lines and I really actually like how bl really black the ink is as well because you when you're actually using the technical pens you don't get that all black it will it's going to take me a while I think to kind of get used to this it's not going to be something that I'm going to get All of a sudden, it's going to take. It's going to take me a bit. Of, it's going to take a bit of getting used to. Now the the handle is actually quite comfortable to use. It's kind of really nice. Now, it'd be interesting to see once I have actually finished a drawing what the how the black ink will scan. I'm hoping that it will look really kind of it will look really black because I'd like to actually get into doing a lot more black and white images. Because they look kind of really arty, for especially for cards and I do like my witch. Ooh. It's really different, different. 
compared to normal um, to normal um, pens I'm used to. I didn't even use this when I was a child. Now this image, as I said, she is on my website, so please check it out. Um, I will be. She will be a print. Um, oh, yeah, it's going to take me a while to get used to this. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this this uh, video. Please leave me some feedback because I'm I'm relatively new to YouTube and um, and I just really want to know if you want me to continue doing more videos. Um, it would be nice to actually do some more videos on this and try out the the other nibs. So if you would like me to do some more. Let me know and I'll be happy to do them because I'm quite enjoying this. Oh, okay, so I hope you like my witch and I hope you like my video. Alright, take it easy. Bye!